So different stuff has been coming up for me, um, things that maybe um, I didn't expect, and I wasn't sure I should talk about it because it's kind of embarrassing. Um, like I, I was diagnosed uh, two and a half weeks ago with overactive bladder, and I'm 42, and I didn't think I met any of the characteristics. I've never had kids or anything like that. I'm kind of underweight rather than, you know, I don't have a weight problem, some of the characteristics I've been told. Um, but I do have hydrocephalus. Uh, sometimes that messes with your urinary sphincters. Um, I do eat a lot of crap, which when I looked at the bladder diet, a lot of the stuff on the avoid list are the things I use to excess. So I've been put on a medication called oxybutynin and I've joined a Facebook group and I opened a discussion in my hydrocephalus forum on Facebook and I'm I'm just meeting other people I, I'm sharing in some of my um, in the rooms.com recovery groups like just the woman's group really cuz <laughs> anyway but it's not like men don't have this issue especially those with hydrocephalus or prostate issues actually have a friend with prostate um, issues and he knows what I'm talking about um, and I'm trying to figure out do I want to go on the bladder diet or not you know like avoid chocolate and pop and um, like sugar and except for fruit <laughs> just spicy foods all the things that like I love and tomatoes and it's like it's like crazy um anyway I haven't noticed a difference when I um kind of avoided it like um up till now and then yesterday I said oh screw it I'm having really bad cravings so I ate off my diet and I didn't notice any difference so um anyway um I'm I'm just, you know, I've been told, like, this is going to be for life. Um, and the worst thing is, is, like, a month before I went to see the doctor, I started becoming incontinent. After a year and a half of telling doctors I have to go to the bathroom every hour and, you know, that sort of thing, and the urgency is, like, really severe. But, so, after it's been a year and a half and I'm starting to be incontinent, then I'm afraid to go to the doctor because I'm like, well, I already saw a few residents, like, three of them. Um, and they're just like, oh, well, it's, you know, anxiety. I have anxiety, so I can't, you know, it's like saying, well, there's nothing that anyone can do for you to have anxiety, so this is what happens. But when I saw my doctor, my family doctor, who I've known since I was five years old, he said, oh, it sounds like overactive bladder, and he, he's like, well, what about the pelvic floor exercises like physio, um, which obviously I probably have a weak pelvic floor, but I'm not sure because I feel like better and I'm able to kegel, which I couldn't before, which is weird, right? I was telling them, yeah, I know how to kegel, and I, I didn't realize there was like this problem with it because, you know, it just happened kind of it was just weird, right? And so I'm going to see my neurosurgeon on February 20th. We'll see if he says it's like um, my hydrocephalus causing this. Um, but he already said it's anxiety like everyone else did. And that's the terrible part of sometimes when you have anxiety or a mental illness. It can actually hide a physical illness for a really long time that happened with even one having one I had borderline personality disorder in the past I have gotten treatment for it for some lucky reason and um, I don't have this you know I only have traits but when I had that they didn't see that I had bipolar one you know with psychosis and the whole bit and mania is crazy um, for eight years so that was weird my family kind of hid from me the fact that my first cousin had it so that you know was crazy but that's my family we don't talk that much anyways so I'm, I'm okay with it though it's all good it's all good
good cement meds for it, oxy, oxybutin, and it's good for me, it doesn't work for everyone, but there's a lot of meds out there that treat this overactive bladder thing, and there's a lot of things that aren't medicine that you can choose from. There's like Botox and some other things that I forget, but you know, the lucky thing about today is like Google and go see your family doctor.